<laughs> so it's Monday, guys. I had such an amazing weekend. Very romantic. Me and Ava did a lot of creative things. But now, since we got the bed from the other place that we just came from, we're gonna be putting it in here. So this is like what we think of as the guest room in the house. It's a little bit more spacious than the other spare bedroom. And we're kind of like picturing maybe Ava's parents, you know? This can be your place when you're here. It also has this nice open porch that leads out to the street. So it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And we want, when we have guests, that they have uh, a, a, a place that you kind of feel like their own thing. So, Je, you're being evicted. You've been staying here for a while, but... <laughs> this is the other room. Come. So this is the other room. It's still like, come on. It's more than large enough. It's just that for the, the, the guest room, the other one is kind of better. That's amazing. Did we ever show the secret compartment upstairs? Do you guys want to see the secret compartment upstairs? Comment below. Find some really tr good treasures there, huh? Yeah. What did we What did we buy? We bought some. Uh, I bought bags for events. It's really uh, not so expensive, 100 and 150. And then we've got some CDs. Like old CDs from when we have friends over. Yeah. <laughs> but we need to buy uh, an old school CD player. <laughs> <laughs> So Ava's parents are coming, so I just flip, turn the golf car around so that it looks more nice when they arrive. Yeah, I, I think like that. It's important to me, okay? As a, as a tech guy, as a, as a lover of motorcycles and stuff. Ava's dad is like coming, and the, there's leaves in the pool. And I think if I don't clean it, he's gonna say there's leaves in the pool. <laughs> Hurry up. Clean it before you arrive. Never knew how much work it is to have a pool. Like, it's crazy. Don't get a pool. Actually, get a pool, but be prepared to work like at least 20 to 30 minutes every day. It's worth it, though. It is worth it. <laughs> You're stressing me. <laughs> Just in time, shaved my beard. Hi! Hi, folks. Hi. Wow! Yeah. Mama loving it with the gifts. Check yes. it out, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Morning everyone! Today, Ava actually has been bugging me all week. She's like, I don't want to go eat barbecue. It's Ava's favorite. And you know, I like it, but it's not my favorite. So I like, I tend to like, ah, not today, can we do something else? But once in a while, I'm like, all right, it's time. She's so happy. Her Korean barbecue is her favorite. This one's actually really nice, like upscale. Like the way they present the food, it's not that the price is very expensive, but it's like the way they present the food, that was really nice here. We really enjoyed that. And then you get to cook yourself.
You're gonna introduce our new angel? Ay, si ate pala. Pwede ka sa vlog. Hello, si ate Cory! Hi, Cory! Wow. Ate Cory appeared as an angel out of nowhere. He's our current blessing. Kind of knocked on our door almost. And yeah, now she's helping out in the house. We're very grateful. We've been actually looking for someone we can trust. So, we're helpful. I'm a creative. I'm gonna share my ideas with you. So we're, we're me and I were talking. So we know in some beach clubs they have like emerge chairs of plastic in the water. We're gonna do that over there in the corner because if you see where Avi is standing, it's like perfect. Like just put two chairs. We can have like a bar area. Here we wanna have like a giant day bed, like a queen size outdoor mattress. So when we have friends over, they can just like lounge. And if you see it, actually the best time to swim in the pool is between noon to like three o'clock. Then there's shade here and sun in the pool. And the water is kind of like, actually it's naturally, so we don't heat it. So it's actually a little bit malamig, cold. Perfect then to have like a day bed here. And I have this like crazy idea. After I went to Bali, we went to a place that had like a massive outdoor mirror. And I want to do that here. Like put like a, like imagine like if it's like inside almost like tucked behind the trees. And it's just gonna say Casa Marbella. So like, you know, we're coming up with some cool ideas. And since we have a lawn there until the baby is born, I, I was thinking I want to have like a golf thing. So like, because I want to I want to learn how to play golf now. So, you know, I'm just sharing some ideas we have. And yeah, eventually we're gonna have like a gym set up in there. And then, yeah, we want to have like a barbecue. <laughs> That's probably gonna be over there. Just so much space, so much fun things that we can do here. Yeah, it's just a blessing. So over time, a little by little, small items here and there. I feel our dream is to like always feel like we're in a resort. We love that. I mean, Ava, we're traveling for six years nonstop. We love resorts. So being able to feel like your home is a resort, that is like a dream to us. It's a picture perfect kind of world with you, world with you. It's a picture perfect kind of world with you, world with you. All right, guys, Je is gonna try the pool for the first time. We told him, put away the camera. Join, get in here. <laughs> Pretend it's not cold. <laughs> it's refreshing. You'll get a lot of creativity from this. Right? Oh, you know how to swim? Careful, it's deep there. I almost deep. Right? That's what I told you. Good, good thing you're tall enough. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you knew how to swim. Wow, chill. <laughs> What's the? The baby likes to swim. Yeah. How is how is my little baby doing? Mm -mm. The, the baby, baby like. So relaxed. Uh -oh. I swim every day. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I try to swim every day. Because I'm very hot right now. Like, mm -hmm. when I became pregnant, my mom even attested to that. And yeah. Some other women. Right. They said, especially on the seventh month, mm -hmm. you get super hot. Yeah. So it's nice that. And we're very lucky that there's a swimming pool here. And I can just swim anytime. Yeah, and you're right. Mm mm. We are big lovers of the ocean though. Yeah. So that's kind of like why we wanted... If we're gonna live in Manila, we will try to get a pool as well. And we got lucky. Mm -hmm. Jay, what do you think? Yeah. Are you happy?
Martin! Look at me. Mm, banana Q, sarap. You want? There's extra. You have more? Mm. Maybe I'll calm down. Mm. Ready? You did that? Yeah. Like I said it before, she's like an angel. She just appeared out of nowhere. Started helping us when we were looking for it. Amazing. Is this, can I get this please? Yeah. This is such a Filipino thing though. So it's brown sugar and fried banana. Ooh! Mmm! <laughs> it's a... Uh... Ano, Filipino merienda. Wow. I don't think this is my first time to try it. Oh, but mm -hmm. did I try this before? Yeah. Ah. But it's usually on a stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one it's of the things you can... If you go into the Philippines, this is one of the things you have to try. By the way, guys, I don't think we introduced Fred. This is Fred. He's done... The perfect work here for it. Fred, how many years you've done this? 14 years? Uh, in here. This house. At uh, this house? 15 years. 15 years. Like he knows everything. He almost has a name for every plant. Mm -hmm. And he's so, so good. Like I've seen him with like a small scissor cutting the plants. Like that's why it looks so beautiful here. It's all due to Fred. <laughs> uh, so you really appreciate him. <laughs> Babe, mm. I got a sexy dress from Mama. Oh, let, ooh, let us see, let us see. Wow. Ooh, wait. What is that? <laughs> a lot of this. <laughs> Actually, it's a good color. It's a good color. Thank you, Lola. <laughs> it's from Lola. It's my Lola's duster. Sorry, last night I was, I was, um, I want to help you, but so hey, bro. nice to see you. Good morning, guys. Last night I was so, Cold. I can hear you guys, but I was so tired. I'm so happy you did this. So, wow. I can hear you guys, but I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is Jerome. I just met him. You already met him, yeah, amazing. Mm. So guys, if you've been watching my vlog since the very, very beginning, before there was a YouTube channel, Cohen's was there. <laughs> before the beginnings of time. Yeah, yeah before the Big Bang, <laughs> Cohen was there, all right? And uh, it's an interesting character that comes into my life at certain points in my life, and we just have a good time. Last time I saw him was in summer, so Cohen's a skydiver. He brought his parachute to the Philippines, and in a couple of the coming two weeks, I'm gonna take him around, I'm gonna explore the Philippines, and hopefully make his change his mindset about what's the best part of the world. <laughs>
Thank you, Mama. So Papa's mom uh, brought us the coffee brewer, so now we can have like European style brewed coffee yeah. at home. Because she was like, oh, I think you need a brewer here. She's amazing. Oh. All right, Kaina. Before. Guys, I'm gonna bring the vlog camera. <laughs> We're gonna go on a trip with uh, Martin and Cohen now. Thanks, Jay. Let's go in. Ooh! <laughs> it's Christmas! I need to. Uh, <laughs> I need to photo this. What did we find today? So this one is for 350 pesos. It's uh, like a pot. Uh, oh, it's made out of um, wood, so it's really nice. And then it also comes with these. Of course, we need to sanitize these properly. We can put like salt, sugar, pepper in these bowls. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. So uh, it comes with four of those. And then it's like a, what do you call that? Like a candle holder. Candle holder. Super nice. I was actually very, very happy Surprise. with the quality of this the wood. This one is 100 pesos. Mm -hmm. We can put like some stuff here. I don't know. Yeah. I really like this because it's very Filipino. It's just so nice. There is a lot of these garage sales here inside yeah. the village that we're living in and we're finding so much pleasure. Parking like this. <laughs> just finding all these hidden but treasures. I think it's dirty so we this, can just put it at this place. It's like a de decorative thing. Yeah. Mm. Ah, good job, babe. Boom. So we're in this uh, Saturday market and Ava had to stop because there's the Korean food here today. Mm. It's good actually. I wish I ordered one. But I'm not that hungry, but it's so good. So you're gonna give it to me? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you after I take another bite. Solid. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna bring Cohen out. We're gonna head out of the out of the village and we're gonna go check out ATC and Molito, which is very nice places, especially for uh, people who need a little different uh, types of food alternatives. They recommend that place for Europeans, for example. So I'm excited to go there today, explore some new places. They also have a brewery there, which I've never checked out. All right, me and Cohen, we're now at the mall. What do you think, Cohen? Shopping time! Shopping! <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, skincare. <laughs> came across these plates and I know Ava just absolutely loved them. So we're picking up and surprising her. It's like a little art fair happening here today. Local artifacts. Me and Cohen are now checking out a brewery here in Molito, very close to where we live. It's called the Perfect Pint. So we're gonna try it. They do like several different craft beers and you can do like a taste platter or you can just get one beer, so. I'm excited to try it. It's been a while. Uh, anything you have to say? Good luck. <laughs> I feel like shit. <laughs> Cohen is still working on beating that jet lag. 